G'day, I'm Mark Dutton. I'm one of the race engineers here at Triple Eight Race Engineering. Today on Norton's Engineered for Speed technical section, we'll be looking at the fuel cell of a V8 supercar. So if we have a look inside our boot, it's, uh, it's pretty empty, you can fit the groceries in there. Uh, so there's a 75 litre fuel bladder under there. 75 litre is regulated by the sport, so everyone has to have the same amount. The same material for the, for the bladder we use at these fillers, that's just a flexible link in case there's a, a side impact that you don't break the aluminium tubes and, and fuel spills everywhere. In ours, we've got a, a room in the boot here for a spare battery. That's actually won us a few races. You'll also see the, the brake water tank uh, the front brakes run that hot that we have to spray water on them to try and drop the temperature down. It doesn't do a lot, but it, it takes the edge off them. If you, if you come around and look right in here, you'll see this valve sitting on top of filler. Uh, the, obviously when you use fuel, you're sucking it out of the bag, uh, you have to replace it with air. So that's your valve to let air in, but it's a rollover valve so that if the car rolls over, fuel won't be spilling out of that valve. If we walk to the side of the car, when you, when you look in the pit stops, you'll, uh, you'll see the, the fuel man all kitted up in fireproof and a helmet. Um, putting the, the fuel rigs on. So he'll activate these two. One's for fuel, one's to, one's to vent. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at the, the fuel rigs and the heads to, to see them. Uh, the, the fuel, there's a restrictor in there to, to, to control the flow so we don't go as, as fast as we possibly can. It, it's, it's dangerous enough as it is, let alone without um, unrestricting us. So over here we've got uh, the, the fuel rigs. This is how we put the E85 into the cars. These uh, are regulated by the sport, so everyone has the same fuel rigs. That was after we started a bit of a fuel rig war a few years ago. We won the war too. And, uh, and then it goes into your head. As we spoke about, there's one for your fuel in and one for your vent. Um, we try and get that on as quick as possible. There's, there's a light so the, the guy knows when to come off. If it's a time fill or if it's a full fill, he'll see the, the fuel coming up the vent. Um, the, the guy operating this obviously wears full uh, fire protective gear, uh, your, your, your suit and also underwear and helmet, balaclava. Um, it, is, it is all about safety. We try and keep uh, the boys as, as safe as we can. Okay, so we showed you the fuel fillers. So then the fuel will come in here, fuel into this one, air, air out of that one, filling the, the bag as we discussed. Uh, inside the bag it's, you have uh, lift pumps which will pick the fuel up and take it to the fuel pot then onto the engine. There is also uh, anti-explosion foam. A lot of people think that that foam is actually in there to stop the sloshing. That's not its main purpose. Its main purpose is, is to take up the airspace so it doesn't explode. If you drop a match into an open tank without the foam, it will big whoosh and up she goes. If you are with a with a nice little explosion, if you do it with the foam in there, it will obviously burn its fuel, but it won't explode. So it uh, it does a lot more than than you think it would. Um, so the fuel, uh, we also have a, a carbon lid here to to help keep the capacity co constant and there's a bit of a safety barrier. There's a crash box here for for rear crashes. Uh, I think there's a bit of work uh, in the pipeline to make that a bit more substantial so that um, it actually does something more than be decorative. So the fuel out of the, out of the tank will go, our fuel pot lives underneath the car, center of gravity, so it goes into that. That's an eight litre maximum, that's also ruled by the category. Obviously pumped along underneath the car, we try and keep all the fuel lines out of the car for safety reasons once again. Um, and then it'll come through, up through a bulkhead and, and to your engines and obviously you've seen the engines before, into the fuel rail, into the injectors, into the engine.